Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta 2. Last time, we had to use the Ark as an alternate means of getting into Hell. And we were greeted by a giant Hell demon named Insidious. And then we got eaten by him, and the masked Lumen was there. But yeah, we kind of took care of him and the insides of Insidious. Now he will never be eating things he shouldn't again. He might also be dead. Anyway, today, an ancient civilization. Let's freaking go. So this is going to be a pretty long chapter. You might want to grab yourself some popcorn, a drink or two. You know, some uh, Skittles, M&Ms, milk duds. Okay. Too late to repent. These are the gates. Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these. Let's just say she's not having a good day. No, she isn't, little one. But she'd still be alive if she hadn't wasted her life saving mine. Huh? Well... She doesn't seem like such a bad friend after all. Fimble Venter can wait for now. I'm opening the gate. Well, thank you. Oh, I can't just leave you at a shuttered gate after your sob story, love. Besides, who's gonna save you if our stalker decides to show up again? All right, let's do this. <laughs> you save Bayonet. She was putting in all the work every time he showed up. But at least they're bonding. I guess that's adorable? Question mark? Anyway, we got some lore. A seal. And we're not talking about a singer from a country I don't even know. Where is seal from? France? Huh, or is he from the Caribbean? I don't feel like looking this up. I don't even listen to his music. I just... No, like one song of his because of DJ Hero, uh, a seal, that which is used to keep what is dangerous or important from the reach of others. When the human world was still new, they say there used to be entrances to Inferno and Paradiso all over, but with time they were almost all destroyed by the followers of God. Yet another entrance were too large to be torn down by human hands. God sealed these gates away in almost impossible to reach areas, some so high that only his eye could see and some far, far under the water surface. He created impenetrable barriers around the door so no one could ever enter. If you think about it in another way, this means that those entrances still exist. They've simply been sealed away. And as they say, seals are made to be broken. If the door is locked, all you need to do is find the key. Although I suppose the first problem you have to face is actually finding one of these gates in the first place. Guess what we're going to be doing in this chapter? All right, so we got some simple platform in here. My jump is better than yours because I can actually hover, boy. Graceful as hell. And <laughs> get it? We're in hell. Okay. A lot of water for hell. Anyway, new demon. Beware. Greed. Noticing a trend here. Okay, so get him. This is a fast little demon. Oh my god, nope. And yeah, Loki is helping out. He has his own health meter. You gotta watch out for him. Do not let him die. Okay. He tends to stay out of the fray, though. You know, just taking his shots from outside, and that's fine. Because the more he camps, 
the less I have to worry about his well-being. Was that worth? That was a silver, huh? I thought I didn't take damage. Whatever. Do do do. We got some vases or pots. And these crystals, they can be destroyed. And then make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. He's made it. We got this right here. Oh, definitely thank you. And we got a lot of stuff in here. I see that must behind portal, but first I need to get all the goodies. Mostly due to the fact that they will respawn um, once I exit the Muspelheim. Well, the vases will like come back. There's no guarantee what was in them will come back, but there's a there, there's a chance. There is a chance. So anyway, this Muspelheim, we're gonna be using enemy arms. Thank you. Is this one good? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, I mean, if you actually hit. Get them both. There we go. Nope. Um, rude. Oh, that's right. I might have to actually wait for a witch time to have the time to use this. Okay, uh, that weapon sucks. We will never use it again. I blame that weapon for my failure. See, told you my failure hinged solely on that weapon. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll take that platinum. I will definitely take that platinum. I'm so glad you're able to redo multiple times if you fail. I mean, they're just the exact same as Alfheim's with a different name to go along with the different lore behind them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there, there's some stuff in them. Not as much as we had before, but I will gladly take it.
Aww. And then we got a little something over here. Just a treasure chest. Bam, boom, bop. Thank you. So we're one more piece of heart away from more health. But we're done with this little side area. Now let's actually return to Loki. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, never mind. Please. And off we go. Almost missed out on this. Angels and demons. It's a little too late to be telling me about this now, huh? While we call our own land in this realm... Wait, oh my god, what is wrong with me? While we call our own kind in this realm humans, we also give names to the inhabitants of other worlds as well. Beings from Paradiso are angels, and the creatures of Inferno are known as demons. Sometimes they're the focus of our worship, and sometimes they're the source of our fear. You might not be able to see them, but have you ever felt their presence? Their worlds are right next to ours. Sometimes they're standing right beside us. We are told that they're watching over the human world, but they've been sighted plenty of times as well. There are people who actually have the power to see these angels and demons. Looking at the descriptions and pictures they leave behind, we usually see angels depicted as punishers of evil who will eat the pious to a land overflowing with pure light. Demons get depicted as humans who have died unfortunate deaths or fallen angels who are reborn to spread death and suffering. Witches most likely get their bad reputation from their association with demons, even though the Umbra are just as human as we are. And when it comes down to it, we possess qualities of both angels and demons while constantly doing anything to accomplish our own selfish ends, which might make us in the... M oh my god. Which might make us the most terrifying creature in existence. Yeah, yeah, I mean, humans are kind of awful, you know, just saying. There are exceptions, and, you know, people do try to lead good lives, but... Generally speaking, humans do some pretty fucked up shit. Philosophy with Bayonetta. I mean, the game already teaches religion, so... There's that. I would not recommend bringing up the lessons you learn in Bayonetta in Sunday school, but you know what? That's your prerogative if you do. Anyway, we're fighting more demons now. Okay, you know what? All right, you know what? You're you're getting tortured. Get wrecked. I said get wrecked. Thank you. You can get some of this too. You're not sufficiently wrecked. Get him. Okay. You know what? I was just gonna let you live, but... You brought this upon yourself. Had him backed up against the wall like this was freaking Street Fighter. Just juggled him. I'll take it. That was really a silver. Y'all give me a silver for that. Oh well. And we got a gate of hell right there. In hell! So it's not even that long of a walk. Let me see what I can get. Another LP. No rest for the wicked. Even if I am jollier than the average demon. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Be right back. This one's gonna be fun. Been looking for a workout like this for a while. Ta-ta. Wait, did I have an LP I never returned to you? 
Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I think I did say I was going to make a point to go to him in between chapters. Well, uh, that's that's my mistake. Chernabog. I will be equipping that very shortly. But, uh, their items, uh, do, yeah, we'll get a witch heart. And we'll get a moon pearl. Let's get another witch heart. Got the money for it, might as well. Okay. I just want to max out on all of that. I'm, I'm trying to do my best to get all the witch hearts and moon pearls. Though... I don't know. I, I think there are some I'm missing in the first chapter. Because uh, now that I have the ability to swim, I can go after them. But I don't feel like really redoing that chapter. And then there's also the fact that... Um, like, there's going to be two upcoming things in this chapter that are very easily missed. I'll do my best to get them, but you really only have one chance with them. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. But yeah, a uh, new weapon. I, I need to equip it. See what it's all about. I mean, they're claws, but, you know... Still, we, we need to see what they're all about. Yeah, get rid of these undines. They they weren't really uh, putting in that work. Oh, no, it's a scythe. What am I talking about? It's freaking huge. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be equipped to her feet. It has a slow build, like a slow initial attack, but I bet this puts in that work. I will try to make this work. Try to keep up. I may default back to the swords, though. The swords are good, but scythes are also cool. It's no energy from the object. It doesn't seem like it's going to do anything as it is now. <laughs> All right, but first things first. Making its triumphant return from Bayonetta 1, we got Golem with new attacks. That I forgot how to dodge completely. Okay. There we go. Oh my god. The Umbered version of that is really good. Okay. My skills at dodging, not so much. <laughs> Which time is already over by the time I start attacking with this? Yeah, Golem has new forms now. And I have a call at 2.30, wow! Sure do love getting calls at 2.30 a.m. for something that's not business critical. I hope I don't get hurt the moment I unpause. Okay. There we go. Get him. Oh, look at this. Okay. Yep. Just get the orb. Hit the orb. Yeah. The scythe is so slow. I want to make it work, but ew.
Okay. We've done it. No climax here. This isn't Bayonetta 1. I'll try to make it work. I'll just chalk that up to me not quite understanding how to properly use it. Like, seriously, all I really do whenever I play Bayonetta is just stick with the sword weapon or the guns. Loki uses powers to open this gate. I can see him calling me from the other side. I'll just have to trust him and move forward for now. So here we are in Paradiso. Try to keep up. Sorry, it's just so convenient to use swords or guns because they put in that work and plus I'm used to them. Garden of God. In the past, God watched over the human world all by himself. The human world is always in a state of flux. Time flows endlessly, bringing death and new life. That which disappears is eventually forgotten. God felt mercy for existence and tried to grant the maternity with the remembrance of time. At intervals, he would quietly appear in the human world and observe creation, slowly building remembrances of time. He created a special place to store the great deal of memories he had created. This place was known as the Garden of God and described in children's stories as a place in the depths of Lake Mount. Oh, I'm sorry, Lake Noaton. Uh, it is said to be Lake Mountain, what the hell is wrong with me? It is said to be full of the places and things found in the lives of ancient civilizations cut off from the ebb of time. Something tells me it wouldn't be the best place for your normal citizen to go wandering around in. Even if the whole thing is just made up, I wouldn't be me if I didn't at least try to find it. So yay, something that keeps track of all of the ancient civilizations. That's nice. All right then. And oh, okay. Well, guess I can't go just yet. All right, that last one was a dodge, and y'all know it. Also, I should be focusing on you. <laughs> okay, that was excellent. Uh, how did I do that? <laughs> okay, that's putting in that work. That combo, I just need to remember that. Also, behold, allegiance. You are so wrecked, buddy. Oh my God. Did half of your HP? What? <laughs> oh, oh yes. Um. Okay, Scythe. Wow. Like, granted, that was a climax, but or Umbrin climax, but but still, yo. Anyway, we got one third of the harmonious blacksmith. Can't say I've heard it. But first things first. We got a moon pearl. And there is a chest right here. Oh. I mean, concoction materials are fine and all, but still not the best chest. Could have made a uh, pretty messed up joke there. Well, not m messed up, but just... Uh, uh, it it's too damn late for me to be this thirsty, so I'll just refrain. So let's just go back through the portal. Oh, but before I for 
get, because I think this only opens up now. At least I hope it does. I'm going to be very upset if what I'm thinking about is not here. Yeah, I'm going all the way back to the beginning. Are are you serious? That, oh, okay, never mind. A hidden verse. Oh my god. Okay, hit you with a torture attack. Get him. Um, he did not get got. What is really going on here? There we go. Like when I say get him, you're supposed to get got. It's like these demons don't understand the rules. Tell me to a straight silver. I'll take it. I get. I mean, I have no choice. I have to take it, unless I restart the chapter, and uh, we're kind of in too deep for that right now. Oh God. Okay, we're we're, we're still alive. Oh God. Okay, just double back a little. I could min max these vases and crystals, but. It ain't that deep. And we're almost back there anyway. And... New lore that wasn't here before. Guardian. God made a special place to protect his remembrances of time, which came to be known as the Garden of God. The Guardian needed a strong protector to watch over his creations. The Guardian was a robot-like soldier built to obey only the orders of its creator. He could change its form freely to whatever would defeat its opponent in the swiftest manner possible. With time, humans discovered the fearful soldier God had created and initiated this technology, or imitated this technology, to build their own soldier of war, the Golem. While Golem was originally intended to be used as a protector of their homelands, its power became too great to control. Eventually, mankind was left with no other choice but to seal the golem off in another dimension. As for the original guardian that God created, what it's doing now is anyone's guess. Who knows? It might still be lying in wait somewhere, keeping the territory safe from intruders. This means it's not the safest bet to be loitering around in any kind of sacred realm if you catch my drift. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, let's go over here. Okay, that purple crystal I need to get. Because I think that has a moon pearl in it, so wish me luck. I only have one shot at this. He's done it. Okay. And the rest of these are just for uh, orbs. Okay, then. And yeah, w there's no going back now. <laughs> Like, li literally, there, there's no going back. Time to slide down the pole. Well, we're technically not sliding down. We're just spinning around. There's a big difference there. We just hit him with that Palutena taunt. 
Still cannot believe that flew with Nintendo, but hey, they made the game, so whatever, it's their decision. Oh, well, what do we have here? All right. Oh, I screwed that up, but... You know, if I can actually hit them... Okay, you know what? That'll work. That's probably going to be a silver. Because that was awful. Oh, that was a gold. I did not deserve that. So anyway, I'm gonna be going over here real quick like. I see a treasure chest, I need to open it. Does this even shoot a projectile too? That's, that's ridiculous, man. But yeah, I'm liking the scythe, I'm, I'm liking the scythe triple s mechanical scythe thing. I'm actually amazed it's not clipping into the floor. They did a good job of how she holds it. Like, that's actually amazing to me. Anyway. We got another gate of hell. There's really no point in me going to it right now. And we got a portal. But that's not my priority right now. Because we got the second third of the Harmonious Blacksmith. I'll look it up and see what that song's all about, like, when I'm done recording. Oh, enemy. Get fucked. Oh, perhaps I'm the one that's about to get fucked. No, no, it's you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab my spoils. And now we return to right here for another verse. Some accolades. It's been too long. I should have saved the, uh, whatchamacallit, climax for this. Did you actually shield that? you kick while you're knocked out I'm what no I'm 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 still confused by that he he had the things around his head that symbolized he was knocked out and he still kicked me there's a problem with that, fam. There is a big problem with that. I object. Call Phoenix right. Like, this. An injustice was served. I mean, I still succeeded in the end, but I should have succeeded by more. Anyway, we're going back into the water. Um, oh, wait. I saw the Muspel Heim. Yep, right here. That's a weird one.
I recall this one being tough, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I think I kind of want the guns, but th this might be able to work with the swords. Don't touch the ground. We're going to be getting some tough enemies, though. Yeah, um... Yeah. I, I'm, I'm switching to the guns for this one. And this is definitely going to take a few attempts. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, that took quite a few attempts. Oh man, it's not that bad, but it's highly stressful. I'll gladly take that pure platinum though, like gladly. So anyway, time to head back to the water. Oh, dang, that's right, I gotta re-equip the swords. But I also have my scythe that I've been putting in work with. We can stick with the scythe for the time being, like, scythe and sword, why not? Or, not, not scythe and sword, scythe and gun. Get. Wrecked. Fam. You know, it would probably help if I actually, like, jumped up and, like, did some combos. Combat is most effective when you actually, like, hit the target. And you can just be tortured. Some roast angel sounds good right about now. That was a photo finish. I almost got hit there. Okay. Um. My thank, thank you. I was like, why is my snake not coming out? But they're, yep, right here. I haven't used the guns in a hot minute. Well, during the normal, uh, or during the LP, like during practice runs, I only have the guns equipped. Yeah, just a place of, uh, like comfort I'm coming from with that but the swords are good too anyway you can't hide from me a Midas's testament is said whoever rings this bell will be blessed with unexpected wealth yeah, it's just an item that increases the amount of orbs you receive. It's good times. Might as well take care of this muscle behind first. Cause I think it might disappear during the first. Don't quote me on that. It's 
So for this Muspelheim, we will be... Oh, keeping a single combo. Okay, glad I stuck with the guns then. This was not planned. Okay, just focusing. Okay, I was in pure concentration for that. That is probably the first pure platinum I legitimately earned. I, that was just pure concentration, pure focus. I will fully admit that like I relied on gimmicks for certain other pure platinums that I received, but that one, I feel like I legitimately earned that one. You, you cannot take that away from me. You just can't. You might try to, and I hope you would have more integrity, like not to do so. But yeah, like that one, I, I feel really proud about. I feel that makes up for my horrible showing in the previous chapter. Let's not get ahead of ourselves there. Okay, so... I can't shoot this. Okay, fine. We can kick it. Or punch it, rather. I, I did not press kick. Alright, up the stairs we go. Well, that's a pretty big golem. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, run. Just keep running. Don't stop. Now that's a pure platinum I did not deserve. <laughs> that one you can take away from me. Oh, man. Wait a minute. I really hope I'm not missing that somewhere. Did I finish it in practice? I don't remember because I'm not even really going to the gates of hell in practice. Shoot, I think I might have missed it. I'm also doing this like a few days after my practice attempt. I definitely have no reason to go to the gates of hell then. Alright, if I missed one, I missed one. Anyway, it's demon fighting time. Okay, um, you need to cool it, buddy. Thank you. That's the attack I like to see. Okay, you know what?
So this is definitely going to be a bronze. I have come to accept that. But if I can keep that up... Give it to me straight. How do, ooh, that was a goal. That was easy. All these things that I do not deserve. Just a little glance of the perimeter. There was nothing. Okay, uh, there is another collectible along this little path. I got it. Okay. And that's the abrupt end to a long-ass chapter. Dang, I was able to bring it back up on the end. <laughs> Three pure platinums and some golds? I mean, I, I did have a platinum at the beginning, but still. Oh, I sure didn't use any items. Huh. And we got demonic currency. It's lore that I won't be able to read until next chapter. And so with that, we're done for today. Next time, we're going to be going to the gates of hell. And I'm not talking about Rodan's bar. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play. Bayonetta 2. Goodbye.